Hey guys, welcome to day number 38. So it's biceps and triceps today. So go ahead and warm up that upper body. And we have just a little bit of lower body. So why not warm up those legs? Give me some squats as you do this. Good job, pull those abs in, weight in the heels as you go down. Keep those shoulders dropped and take it backwards with your arms. Keep going. Nice and big circles. Chest stays lifted. Breathe through it. Now I'm gonna recommend that you have two bands, probably a light and a medium. We're gonna be using the bands for the bicep work and then the triceps is going to be on the floor. Swing those arms forward and back, warm up that chest just a little bit. We're gonna get first with the tricep dip. Now, if you have wrist issues, you can always do some kickbacks. Otherwise, we will be on the ground with one leg in the air. So go ahead and take it down. What you're gonna do here, gotta see what's up. <laughs> Fingertips point towards your toes. I want your booty way up and lifted. Right leg comes up, and you're just gonna go down and up for one whole minute. I know, this is a little bit more challenging, especially on the leg, or I'm sorry, on the arm that the leg is lifted because you really gotta support yourself a little bit more. Make sure you're pushing through that heel of the bottom leg and you're really fighting to keep those hips up. The only reason my butt is dropping is not because I'm doing this, it's because I'm only bending my elbows, okay? So this is working your glute on the left butt cheek also. Keep going. Keep fighting for it. I know it's difficult, but this is how we get better. You get that leg up a little higher. Woo! Come on, you're almost there, six seconds. Wow, feel this. That right tricep. Oh! All right, turn it around. We're gonna get up, do some cardio. So, you're down, 180, jump squats. Pull those abs in, you're just turning. We've done this move before, if you need to, you can step it out. Otherwise, you're jumping 180 degrees, landing soft, toe ball heel. Remember, this is meant to get that heart rate up. Woo! So keep breathing. Watch that form. Last one. Nice job. Take it down on the ground again. I'm gonna face the other way and do your left leg. So, fingertips point forward, heels in close to the butt, lift it up. Lift your left leg up and Rock it out. Here we go. Woo! Remember, the only reason those hips are going down is because those elbows are bending. Keep the shoulders away from the ears so you're not slouching. You're only bending at your elbows. You're really gonna feel that in your left arm this time. Woo! If it hurts your wrist, go ahead and stretch it out. I know I need to just a little bit. Otherwise, keep rocking it out. With 15 seconds left, you can do it for 15. You can do it for 10. You're almost there. Woo! Fight for height. Get that booty up. Last one. All right. Woo, bring it up. 180 jump squat. Three, two, one, go. You can use those arms for momentum. Just make sure you land nice and soft. Toe ball heel, toe ball heel. Core stays tight, chest stays lifted, shoulders back and down. Woo! You got this. Guys, we're like halfway done with this already. Last one. All right. Woo! Go ahead and grab your band. I might go with a light one. This is a difficult move. Now, your right leg is gonna be in front. You're gonna loop that band around that right foot. You're gonna take a big step out, get into a low lunge. You're gonna stay here in that lunge. Now put the band in that right hand, get down low, and now curl it up. Oh, I'm glad I switched to a light band. This would be difficult, if not. So we're still working legs here, but we're still working biceps. Woo! You wanna make sure that you have tension in that arm the entire time. I'm not just letting go. I wanna keep my elbow in at my side and come up a little past 45 degree angle and a little lower, okay? So keep the tension there. You can get a little lower in that lunge. Make sure the weight is in the front heel and back toe, evenly distributed. Last one. Woo! 
slow, we'll come back to that. Here we go. 180s. One leg is gonna feel it a little bit more. Owie! Feel that. Whenever we work isometrically, means that leg didn't really get a lot of rest. Because we were staying down low in that lunge. Woo! Walking out, y'all. Keep going. Chest stays lifted. Booty goes back. Last one. All right. Grab that band again. Face the other way. We're gonna put it in that other foot. So your left foot. Step it way back. Make sure you put it in that left hand. Palm can face up. Rock it out. Get down low in that lunge. Up and down. Remember, shoulders dropped. Core engaged. Make sure that wrist is straight. It's not here, so I'm not letting it fall. I'm keeping that wrist straight. And I'm still coming up just within above halfway and a little below halfway. So that bicep really gets a good workout. Can you go a little lower? So that bottom knee almost touches. Make sure that you can feel the weight in that front heel and that back toe evenly distributed into that lunge. Core is tight, chest is lifted. You got this. Don't give up on me. Eight seconds. Oh my word, that leg is burning. Last one. You ready for this? Last set, 180s. Woo! I'm gonna need to stretch my hip flexors after this. Yeah, I would not recommend doing this workout if you've been sitting for a few hours. Those hip flexors are probably tight. So, definitely recommend that stretch as soon as we're done. Woo! Land soft, core tight. Give me one more. Woo! Good job, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Again, if those hip flexors are tight, a good stretch for this is back in that lunge, but really tilt those hips forward. Do it with me, why not? I'm gonna do it. Might as well, right? Feel that stretch right in that hip flexor. And if you don't, just tailbone under a little bit more, or you will. Woo! Go ahead and switch. Step back really far, tailbone under. Oh my goodness. Good job today. Thanks for joining me. Again, if you want to make this a full workout, you can do this three to four sets. If this was just your added bonus workout for more results, then good job. Thanks for joining me. Keep pushing play, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Mwah. See ya.